Welcome to another lecture guys. In this lecture we are going to learn how we can create a database of our target images and download it and install it in our Unity project. And to do that let's first of all go to the target manager tab inside the Euphoria developer portal and click on add database. Here let's give it a dummy name xyz and select the type device because we want this database or these images to be stored inside our unity project and get recognized from inside our app let's hit create and it will create a new database for us let's go to our database and add some image targets let's click add target and it will ask us if we want our target to be of single image or cuboid cylinder or 3d object you will notice that if we want to create a single image target we have to select jpg or png file if we switch to cuboid it will ask us the width height or length of the cuboid if we hit cylinder it will ask us the bottom diameter top diameter side length and if we switch to 3d object it will ask us to choose a file and this file must be Vephoria object scanner data we can create this data from Vephoria object scanner application available to us by Vephoria and first of all we will have to scan our 3d object from that app it will create some data file and we will have to provide that file over here to successfully add this target to our project for now let's just click single image and choose the file by clicking on browse let's just select this screenshot file we have on our desktop and we can give the width of 1 you will notice this message over here that says the width of our target is seen in units the size of the target should be on the same scale as your augmented virtual content so for example if our 3d model that we are going to display on the augmented reality content or the image target is of scale 1 or is of scale 10 we are going to use the same number that we have over there so first of all we put the width of our image target then we can give the name and click add this will upload our target and it gives us an error Vuforia usually gives this error when we select images that are not 8-bit grayscale or 24-bit RGB type of file so this tells us that we can only use 24-bit RGB files or or 8-bit grayscale files let's just select some other image and click on add this will upload our target to the Fourier's portal and it will automatically change this image to an image target next thing we are going to do is download our database by clicking on this button and we have to select the developer platform as unity editor and hit download it will compile our image into a unity package and start downloading it now let's go back to our unity and click import package and go to custom package from here we have to select this xyz unity package and hit open you will notice that the image file we have uploaded will be shown as this scale underscore scale image and we can click on import to import this package inside our project now since we have one database let's go to the, the Fourier configuration and you will notice bunch of database already been shown over here the Vuforia Mars databases are being imported automatically once we have imported all the files from Vuforia we can simply uncheck these databases and we have this XYZ database over here we check this box to utilize this database and check this activate database check box as well now to add this 
image inside this database into our scene we have to go to our hierarchy right click go to Vephoria and click on this image this will add an image target to our scene at 00, 0 and you will notice that there is a image target behavior component attached to our game object and it has the first thing of type which is set to predefined we can change it to user defined or cloud recognition then we have the database selector and then we have the image target selector so first of all select the database we have imported which is XYZ and the first image target will get selected automatically you will notice that this image transforms into the image target that we have uploaded to our developers portal now if we build this app on our Android phone and move our camera toward this image it will detect it 